I had a chance to test the Xeon Smooth Q2, stated to be the smallest and most compact gimbal for smartphones out there. This is my full in-depth review. Thanks Perger for sending me over the Smooth Q2, you can check the price and the specs also in the link in the description. In the past I tested and compared a lot of smartphone gimbals and this is not going to stop. In the mere immensity of gimbals, this is actually the most smallest that you can get with a smartphone gimbal. So let's compare it to a standard form factor smartphone gimbal. Tiny. Is it well built? Yes, the all metal frame feels really high quality and it has a really great sturdiness when you hold it in your hands. Can it fit your pocket? Well, sure. Okay, so let's go to a fast unboxing before I show you the footage. In the box you will get the Zion Smooth Q2, smartphone mounting plate, USB-C charging cable, wrist strap and the manual. We are now ready to get the footage filmed with the OnePlus 6 and the Xiaomi Mi 9. refers to shooting some kind of a flashlight mode and that's okay if you don't want to get some creative shots. If you are going to be more creative we will for sure want to do some more creative shots that involves more moves. And this is the point when you get visible the tilt motor on your smartphone camera no matter how hard I try to move my smartphone to the left. Even with the Xiaomi Mi 9 I get the same results even worse if I use the wide-angle lens. So maybe your smartphone is built with a better camera displacement, but I don't see the problem there. If you move your smartphone to the left, it will not be so balanced anymore and you will stress the motors. So there are only maybe one or two solutions to this problem. Film always in flashlight mode or actually switch your smartphone to the wrong side so your camera don't get obstructed from the motor. Now you will struggle to see anything because of the mounting plate that holds your smartphone. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I don't have any solution to remove my tilt motor from my camera shots. Xeon is a really great big established company for gimbals and actually I tested a lot of their gimbals like the Crane 3, the Weeby Lab, the Smooth Q4 and I was really satisfied using them, actually I'm using all the time the Weeby Lab. Let's go to some other features of the Zion Smooth Q2. The layout button displacement is really simple and actually perfect for all your needs. The power button, hold it and it will power on. There is a great little joystick for the pan and tilt control and the record button. On the side you will find the USB-C charging port. At the bottom there is one quarter screw mount. Sadly there is no mini tripod stand in the package. Pressing the joystick you will be able to select the different modes. Pen follow mode, lock all the motors, follow mode and POV mode. Simple like that. When pressing two times the center of the joystick you will recenter the gimbal. When pressing three times the power button you will flip it on your side. When you flip it horizontally, it will auto-detect that you want to go on portrait mode. There is also a dedicated ZY app. 
The provided ZY app gives you some good functionalities. Moving time lapse with some preset waypoints, normal recording, take a photo, and panorama. On the left side there is a timer, HDR function, and setting option. There are some basic settings to choose. With the resolution 720, Full HD and 4K all in 30p. I would love if they have added some 25 or 24 frames per second and also some slow motion like 60p. On the settings menu you can switch off the electronic image stabilization of your phone, turn on some girls and diagonals for better framing, choose some of the stabilizer parameters and the device info. If you select to switch to normal camera you will get some additional features like choosing the white balance resolution of photos, enter a full manual mode and actually fine-tune the gimbal on your liking with the dead zone, smooth degree and follow rate. Something that you don't get with other gimbals. As I tested in the past with other Zion gimbals, the tracking on Android devices is very poor and I would not recommend it to use it. So what's my opinion on this gimbal? I kinda have mixed feelings about it. The build quality is excellent and better than the competitors. The controls are one of the most easier to use and the form factor is the selling point of this gimbal. And then from my point there are some downsides on this gimbal. Depending on your smartphone size and model you will get that roll motor visible in the footage. The app is great but it lacks more frame rate options and the tracking isn't good. I would say unexistent. The gimbal sits on itself but for any kind of windy situation I would rather use a mini tripod. Perfect gimbal if you are willing to film in some kind of a flashlight mode depending on your camera placement of your smartphone. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.